This is the hypnotist, and I will be demonstrating the advanced technique dubbed as wave smashing, also known as snake sliding or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm just going to get into it, and essentially that's what it looks like. And what you're doing is you're dashing but right right after the dash immediately you hit the C stick forward on your GameCube controller and then you press on, I'm trying to think how to explain it basically what you're doing it's a full mo motion like wave dashing was in um in melee um so like in melee wave dashing was like but oh this isn't efficient at all I can't show the controller but basically what you're doing is you're pressing forward C stick and then up Z that's pretty much it and it's very efficient because it's a lot faster than running that's running to him. And then if I were to just wave smash, not trip, or do that, it would be like that. And it's much more fast. And you can follow it. It's really good for spacing. And uh, Snake is not the only character that can do this. In fact, most characters can do it. But it's only very beneficial to a few, including Wario and Sheik. Um, it's not the exact same timing, just like wave dashing wasn't in, in melee, but uh, it's possible. I personally think it's the easiest to do with Snake, but maybe I'm just biased. You should know that if you end up forward smashing when you're trying to do it, it just means you're rushing a little bit, so sometimes that will happen, you know? So don't rush, because then you get really short ones like that. I mean, you might want that. You can also, um,. If you dash, it's a lot easier if you just dash into an opponent and you just press up during the dash. So you can attack and wave smash, uh, which is very beneficial. And you know, it, you can you can put it into combos and and you know the sandbag's not the best example, but a lot of times with the uh, the stun. From the uh, from the actual wave smash itself colliding into the opponent, the um, the missile will still hit them. Not like that, but like hmm, I'm trying to think how to explain it. Let's see. Like I don't know. I can't do it on the sandbag, which I can't also grab, which was stupid because Nintendo wasn't thinking. It makes Oliver completely pointless, and you can't even throw the the Pinkman at it. Stupid handbag, but stuff like that, and and other snake stuff I guess I can show you, um, um, you know, he can throw the grenades, but what's good is to cook them, you might want to hold on to them and then just throw it, and you can also plant them, sort of, so you could just go like that, so you might want to like do an approach like, you might want to be like throw, force them to come to you, drop one, and then have your mortar ready. And then it forces them either to get hit by the grenade or um, hit by this. And I don't think no anyone's going to want that. Uh, similar to how in melee, Link could throw a boomerang and a bomb, and it's very difficult to evade both. Also a technique, instead of cooking a grenade, you can just throw it immediately and then trick them into catching it and going right into a wave smash. And what will happen is, if you do the timing right, they'll grab it and right when they grab it, they'll get hit with the wave smash and they'll fly in the air and then the grenade will hit them in the air. So you can, after that, you can get them with an up air. And it's just, a, it's devastating and just, see it's gonna look like that and then like that and then like, bam. It's pretty cool. I mean, I can't really do much on the sandbag, but, you know, I'm just showing you some snake stuff. Wave smashing's good. Super good recovery. It just, I mean, 
<laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> um, oh, another tip. Like, if you're coming back to the stage, what I often do is I'll, like, have a grenade. Like, I'll be like this. Throw the grenade and then come back. Because when you're further off the stage, you can throw the grenade, like, right near. So the grenade lands around there. And then you're coming back and it forces them to keep away from you. Because Snake's aerials aren't very good, or fast at least. He's a little, um, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, not immune, uh, you know that word that means, like, can be attacked? You know. I'm gonna feel hella stupid later, but whatever. Anyways, so that's, like, Snake stuff. And I guess that's pretty much it, and this video was basically a test run, that's way smash and work on it, everyone's going to be doing it, don't call it a dacus, stupid, and everyone have a good day.